A city with a long history is still fascinating, where countless people spread China's image and name throughout the world using their extraordinary wisdom. According to incomplete statistics, nearly 200,000 people are engaged in pottery and related industries in Jingdizhen. There are more than 3,000 workshops running, in which intertwined old and fresh stories are staged every day. I was awake from the dream of returning to native place late at night, when the fire of kilns was burning brightly on both shores. This is a poem by King Dynasty poet Song Fingy, depicting night scenery on both shores of the Changjiang River. It is clear that since King Dynasty, Jing Dizen has attracted craftsmen from all over the country to make and learn pottery craftsmanship here. Actually, even now there are still a great many of people, who come here for that purpose. Taok Sichuan, a unique creative pottery cultural industrial park in Jingdizen, sits on the ruins of the universe porcelain field. Young designers, artists and craftsmen all gather here, in order to pursue pottery. It is everyone's true intention here, to keep striving, growing and young forever. Such inclusive mind is precisely root, cause why Jingdizen's pottery industry kept getting fresh blood. Li Ziyang, a native man from northeast region of China, has been studying pottery in Jingdizen for eight years. In the past, he was a regular visitor to Taok Sichuan. After his three-year apprenticeship, he settled in Jingdizen with his family. He does well in kiln firing, so that all of other workshops nearby tend to ask him to fire. In the end of 2019, Masters of other workshops were striving to meet tight deadlines in order to take a good rest after one year's hard work. Ziyang also wanted to have a good time at Chinese New Year after firing the last batch of porcelain in a kiln. In Jingdizen, a unique workshop model has been handed down to the present. Each master only specializes in one technique, but is highly responsible for the entire process because any flaws in any step may affect the success of porcelain production. Step 1, Kneading Clay The main component of the clay in Jingdizen is kaolin, which is the reason why the porcelain body is spotlessly white. First the master cuts an irregular lump of clay into halves beats them into relatively regular lumps, and makes them into green body. After kneading and drying the clay lump, add water to make it soft, and then polish the lump with hands. In this process, the master needs to gaze at its shape while perfecting it with muddy water. It is followed by throwing, during which the coordination and stability of hands are the most important thing. While throwing, the hands are placed on the clay to apply force evenly, so that the clay can be spread naturally. Relying on the centrifugal force produced while turntable is turned the clay produces plasticity and then deforms.
The final step is to take the clay body. Straighten the secant line with hands to make it parallel to the turntable and cut from the bottom foot, which is not repeatable. Then hold the bottom feet between fingers, slowly lift up and take off the clay body. The key points in the throwing step has been fully displayed on the fingertip. Then put the dry clay body on a rotating plate. While the master is using muddy water to soften the clay body he perfects it in the details with slitting knife, broad knife and markers. It is precisely because of the master's excellent crafts that makes the green body of Jingdizhen's unique eggshell, China seemingly very transparent, which can be described as an unparalleled technique in the world. The exquisite decoration refers to carving exquisite holes, with the piercing technique filled with special exquisite glaze on the surface of the clay body, which forms translucent and bright holes once fired. The exquisite decoration is matched with blue pattern. They are complementary to each other in the design. The painter first draws the sketch on the clay body according to the preset pattern, finalizes and traces the lines, uses special blue and white materials to draw blue patterns, which includes two kinds of paintings, on glaze and under glaze. As the name implies, the difference between them lies in the position relationship between the material and glaze layer. In addition to delicate style, the difficulty and in value increases as the painting is more full. Then, glaze the green body to ensure that the glaze adheres to the green body, after the glaze is applied, the green body is impermeable to water. Under high temperature, a glossy glass layer is formed to ensure the smoothness of the green body and improve the utility of porcelain. The small pieces of porcelain mainly adopt the method of pouring and dipping glaze while large pieces of carvings or inlays lean on the method of blowing glaze. The latter is harmful to the human body for which air pumps have already been used in this step, with the continuous improvement of technology. After a series of complicated processes, Ziyang will transport the green body to be fired back to his workshop, put it into the kiln box, and separate it one by one with the shed. The volume of the kiln is fixed. So the number of porcelain that can be put into, it depends on the crafts of the kiln master. Now, it is time for Zi Yang to show his skills the porcelain can be made successfully only if the temperature reaches above 1200 Celsius, which requires to be controlled strictly at any moment. During the process, any non-ideal factors like vapor temperature may lead to the failure of the porcelain production. The whole process lasts one day and one night. Ziyang kept watching beside until it is finished. Under the action of high temperature in the kiln, a magical change took place that blue pattern emerges on the porcelain body originally covered with glaze water.
each piece of fashioned porcelain, like a person, who is constantly honed and eventually transformed, into a new person, is completed after repeated firing process. Such difficulty and complexity goes beyond our imagination, which can only be understood by those who have worked by hand and witnessed the process. This is the wonder of pottery firing. Chen 那就和水比都比不过 In Jingdizen, there is a custom handed down to the present that no defective porcelain can be circulated in the world. Chinese porcelain has a long historical standing. As early as the Shang dynasty more than 4,000 years ago, primitive Siladin has emerged. The porcelain is as common as clothing, food, housing and transportation for Chinese. Kilns can be seen everywhere in China. The porcelain produced by the five famous kilns, Ru, Gan, Ji, Jun, and Ding in the Song dynasty has long been well known globally. The five famous kilns are not necessarily inferior to Jingdi's in terms of porcelain production. They were all the rage, but most of them were drowned in the dust of history. Perfection requires practitioners to have strong carefulness and patience. In Jingdizen, the porcelain capital, hard-working and honest craftsmen always stick to their original intention to produce superior products, which has long been well known throughout the country though. In this way, Jingdizen stood out as the world-renowned porcelain capital, among a mass of kiln sites in the competitive porcelain industry. For thousands of years, pottery has been deeply embedded in every inch of Jingdizen's land where countless kiln workers has been using their extraordinary wisdom to spread China's image and name all over the world, and to record the history in such a way that never fades away. This is Jingdizen.